All right, so I know I probably have better things to do today. Actually, maybe I don't. But uh, me and the wife are gonna take the CJ on a little cruise uh, just to check and see. Hopefully, maybe I got that oil leak fixed. Just doing a walk around, make sure I don't have any tools laying anywhere. Uh, but we're gonna take the CJ on a little cruise and uh, I subjected her to the willies yesterday, so she's gonna get the uh, CJ today. I say that, but she really doesn't care. She doesn't mind riding in either one of them, to be honest with you. So anyways, we're gonna see what, what trouble we can get into today. Here she comes. She's all bundled up. She's waving at ya. Burr! Come on. Oh, I always on film. Come on. Get in. Like I need proof. Come on, you're letting the heat out. Oh. Oh yeah, just mess my shit up. There's nothing to grab onto now. She's to scaling. Onto. She's scaling the side. Need a little stool. See? Climbing was... in like the Duke's of Hazard. It's a piece of cake. Oh. Nope. Pull it. Pull it. There you go. Damn, what the hell's All up right. with this top? Let's go. Let's go. <sighs> It'll warm up. Probably not. Does it have four wheel drive? Yeah. Okay, so it might be a little slippery. Here you want to film? Never film. What am I filming? But don't film yourself. You get uh, the cameras on the front. <laughs> Jeez. Am I pointed at you now? I don't care. I'm waiting on another car. I don't wanna. <laughs> yeah, we're just... as soon as that that's that's gotta move before we're gonna get any kind of heat. Heat is good. Let's take the top down. Let's not. You wanna take the highway? Uh, whatever's the safest way. Favorite places, North Side Bar. Oh, oh gosh. Oh. Let me unplug my phone. Got the CJ made it here. I don't see any oil leaking. That's good. My favorite spot. Yes. Back to the siege. You ready? <laughs> I don't know why she like just had to come and get these stickers today. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna like keep you holding up. Yeah. Oh 
my gosh, look at all these oil leaks. Well, we made it back home. So we'll get the Jeep in, we'll take a look at it. Tomorrow I'll see if it's still leaking, and we'll just go from there. All right, so uh, of course on the coldest day of the year, at least one of the cars in the herd has to not start, which it's my son's uh, Jeep, which is the newest one. It's a 2010, so I'm guessing the battery's from around 16 or so. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and replace that real quick. Oh, it's loose. Figures. Whoever wired this thing's a idiot. Kidding me. All right, got one of these the other day. So if you haven't gotten one of these yet, uh, these are certainly a, a must. Uh, these things are really, really nice to have. Um, they're really made, kind of well made. Uh, show you what they are. If you haven't seen these on YouTube, and stuff uh they're kind of leading the uh industry so to speak in um jump boxes and jump packs uh, that's pretty much it just think if technology ever went down you could technically use this to learn like every other language in here by referencing the u.s language somebody pointed that out to me by the way Anyways, uh, they're pretty simple. They they are in the, they're stored in the off condition. Um, they have a light, a uh, couple versions of lights. Um, you can uh, you plug them in here. Uh, you can charge some. Uh, you can charge your devices and then charge this uh, this thing with this one. So it's kind of nice. It's like a little. If you keep it in your car, it's a nice little little device there. So, anyways, just figured I'd show that to you guys. I'm having a ton of problems with my GoPros. I'm keeping them uh, batteries inside. They're still not working. I just went through two fresh batteries in like 10 minutes. So I'm on my phone now. Oh my gosh. This thing is like, yikes. Oh yeah. A couple of flatties over here. Yikes. Wow. 
that is really bone dry after a uh, 50 or 60 mile trip. Um, looks like we fixed our leak up here, resealed everything. Looks like nothing is really leaking too bad. Uh, yeah, looks like just some residual leftover stuff. Uh, so that is very good news. Looks very good. All right, so if anybody's wondering what's going on, it's uh, January. Uh, it's a busy time of year for me at work, so I don't get to do a lot of stuff. Basically just working and then trying to get the vehicles caught up. So you guys should be doing the same thing. Get them all dialed in. You know, this is the time of year. So uh, probably most of the working on this Jeep stuff is kind of done. Um, we're just kind of like, me and the wife are kind of, you know, spending time together, uh, kind of getting through the winter like everyone else. Uh, we have a few little trips planned um, outside of the uh, automotive community. Uh, also, we're planning on taking the CJ to uh, Silver Lake this year. I haven't been in like 30 years. Uh, and also we're, um, like a lot of people, we're anticipating the uh, 2022 power tour dates and locations. Um, the locations are starting to trickle in. It looks like uh, Wisconsin to Louisiana, which would be awesome. I've never been to Louisiana. I, I would love to go, um, but we're waiting to see how, um, how the dates and stuff are. Uh, other than that, um, we got a few little trips, planning on taking the red Jeep out, um, at car shows, this and that. Um, probably, probably a lot more uh, uh, automotive content this year, hopefully. Um, um, other than that, that's about it.